Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1176. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1174 to 1176, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here about converting from one unit to another. Now, we're going to talk about the convert function. Here's a great link that if you use the convert function, you want to go to. This is uh, Microsoft Help, and we'll look at it in just a little bit. Also, a couple of our Excel online teammates, Excel TV. By the way, if you're not watching Excel TV at YouTube, you are missing out. Kevin was on the show and did something about convert, and even Doug H had a recent video about convert. But we gotta check this out. Now, actually, I'm doing this. I've done convert in lots of videos, but they're always inside another video when we're doing something. But here, we just want a straight look at convert. Now, convert. You put in any number comma, and in recent versions of Excel, it gives you this drop down, and it gets better than that. Once you select a unit from the from unit, when you go to to unit, this gets limited. Now, I have everything list listed over here, but sometimes it's nice to just scroll through. We have gram and slug and pound mass. Let's just scroll down here, meter, inch, foot, yard, pica light year, hour, day, minute, all sorts of amazing atmosphere. Newton, so we're talking physics there, pound force. That's why we can't just list LB, LB mass, LB force. And we come all the way down here, and sure enough, there's Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin. And there's our ounces, fluid ounces. So I want to go from fluid ounces to gallon. So I can double click this and watch this comma. Now this list is limited to only the things that can match up with ounce. I'm going to double click gallon, close parentheses. So I started out with 384 ounces, and boom, that's three gallons. Now I want to go from pounds to tons equals convert. This would be easy enough to do without. Uh, convert though, but nevertheless, comma, and we got to find pounds. They they're right here. Pounds is with an M for mass. There's a force later on in the list, and we have our ton. Enter. So we go from 2,000 pounds to one. How about kilograms to pounds? Now the thing about this one that's important is you can't find every single item that you can convert in our drop-down list. If you look for kilograms, it's just not there. I see grams, but if you go through this list, kilograms isn't there. That's where this link will come in handy. Click on that, and you'll come to this site here, Convert. And it's got them actually organized in quite a nice way by weight and mass, distance, all the different groupings. But when you come down to the bottom, here's the prefix. And if we start at the number 10, we have an E. 100 is H. And there's our kilo for 1,000. Mega, giga, all of these are added. And we'll do this one in a little bit. Now, if you want to start going decimals, we start sliding the decimal. One position, two positions, three positions, six positions. So all of these can be added. So what we're going to have to add is that K. So I'm back over here. In double quotes, K, and we're going to make up our own with a G. So that'll be kilograms, comma, to, and you can just type this out. You don't have to select from the list. LBM, and double quote, close parentheses, and Enter. And so we've gone from kilograms to pounds. Now we want to go from minutes to hours. And actually, we, if we have all of the from and to abbreviations in our cell, we can simply select the number, comma, the from and the to. And then you can copy it down. Copy it, I'm just down to there. So we have uh, 0 Celsius to 32 Fahrenheit, 0 Kelvin. Kelvin is a scale where absolute 0, that's where the molecular kinetic energy stops, right, and mass ceases minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit. We went from tablespoons, four tablespoons, to a quarter cup. Now for the gigabytes, this is another one of those bytes is in the list. And I want to go from gigabytes to bytes. And you can look through the list, and I think it's down at the bottom here, bytes, right? And there it is there. 
But we're going to have to make up our own here. So I'm going to say giga and then byte, close parentheses, comma, and then in double quotes. And look at this. It limits our selection, double quote for byte. Close parentheses. Now, this is another one of those ones where you can probably just do the formula right. You don't really need convert. 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros. Now, I want to show you the secret part of convert function that no one's ever told you about. So really, the most amazing thing is convert will take your current religion or philosophy. And if you tell it your new religion or philosophy, it will convert you. Now, the trick that no one tells you is that the number has to be a huge number. That's basically the biggest possible number that Excel knows. One, and this is in scientific notation. And we're going to slide the 0 over a bunch of times. And watch this. The from unit, it's not in the list. You have to get to the secret list, which is online. So for Catholic, it's C. We want to go from Catholic, comma, and then to become a Buddhist, you put in BTU. And then when you hit Enter, watch this. Done. And you're converted. And you can tell that it worked because text is usually aligned to the left. But this is a special kind of text that only spits out text that's aligned like a number. Oh, OK. The joke is up. That's a joke. I'm just kidding. Convert function can't really convert you from one philosophy to another. Control 1, that was done with custom number formatting. So any number that shows up in the cell just shows as done. That's why there's a number in there, because I went from calories to BTU. And so there's a number there, but that's just number formatting. All right, that's a little joke at the end, but a bunch of cool stuff about the convert function. All right, we'll see you next video.